My mom's from here, so she keeps calling it a fry up. Yeah, a fry up. A prop, I just want a proper fry up. A proper she English fry up. Yeah. <laughs> So I'm here with the very talented Sean Mendes. Cool, Lovely to meet you. You too. And welcome to the UK. Thank you. Are you enjoying your time here so I far? Am. It's really, really nice. Except it's a little gloomy today, but. Well, you should have been here last week. It was literally pouring down with rain every single day. It was in Canada too. Oh really? Oh, that's yeah. okay. That makes yeah. it a little bit better then. So you are smashing it at the moment. Your EP number one across the world. That's that's pretty amazing. Yeah. You must be feeling really, really I'm positive. I'm feeling really, really good right now. Yeah. We don't have the time to be sorry. millions of fans but for the people who don't know you that well can you kind of tell us a story about how it all yeah. started for you so um basically what happened was like a couple summers ago when vine first came out which is this little app where you can put six second videos on and um it was like the summer it took a couple months after it came out and i posted up this uh quick little cover of justin bieber as long as you love me just singing the hook and then um i'm i'm just I put it up and then the next morning I woke up and it had like 10,000 likes and like my followers were like 10,000. I thought the whole program was lagging for some reason. Not realizing that it was going to go out of control like that, but uh, it was very crazy. Now your song Life of the Party, yeah. I absolutely love it. Thank you. I listen to it on repeat and repeat, it's so good. Thank you, thank you. Tell me a bit more about that song, kind of what it means to you. It's, the song is really about like being confident with who you are as a person. I've said, like, it, as a teenager, being a teenager, I feel like a lot of like my fans can connect with me and relate in the type of way. Like, you feel uncomfortable. You almost feel like you don't belong in certain situations. Like, you find it hard to like find your place in sort of uh, the world. And I feel like the song was just like sort of like a reassurance to tell you like you rock type of thing. So it's just like a good feeling song in type of way. I like that you rock. Yeah, that's a good vibe to give out. I love Definitely. it. Now we've got to talk about the Vamps. Yeah. Love those boys, they're my favourite boy band. Just, what has it been like, obviously working on the track, Cecilia, which is the top 10, which is amazing. Thank you. Kind of how do you get involved with working with them? I was on tour with them. Uh, we were on this on the Austin Mahone tour in America. And I got really close with them really quickly. Like we were always together after the show and stuff. They became like really, really good buddies of mine during the tour. And uh, I don't know how really Cecilia came about. It was like out of nowhere. And, it was like an offer and then I was like, of course, I'd love to go on a song with them and then kind of came about like that. But it was really, we were really like laid back and about it and it was like really fun to do something with them. We can turn a break up into an What are they really like? They're, I don't know, like, do you see them as like a rambunctious group of boys? <laughs> like a crazy group of boys? They're not too crazy. I, do you know what I think about them? They're just really cool. Whenever I interview them, they're just like, they're so cool. And I'm like, yeah. you guys are really cool. They are <laughs> cool, but they're like, they're crazy. Like, they're so crazy. They're always running around and like grabbing me and like throwing me around. They're like, they're like, just like a bunch of like, gorillas running around in the same room. Don't put them in the same room together. They just run around and break everything. That's how I see them. <laughs> just a bunch of crazy gorillas. Yeah. I love that. <laughs> now, the bands obviously you've worked with, any other big boy bands you'd like to work with? What about One Direction? Uh, that'd be, I'd love to, I'd love to work with them. They're really cool. Have you sang any of their songs? Uh, I'm, I must have on Vine. I've done so many. I've done like 400 Vines, but I must have done one of their, I'm sure. I'm sure it was a hit on Vine as well. Now you're from Canada. Do yeah. you ever get people comparing you to Justin Bieber? People calling you the next Justin Bieber. What do you feel about that? I can only take that as a compliment. He's so talented and like has had an he's, he's has an amazing career. So I mean, I only take it as a compliment. Actually, been looking at your your Twitter, and I've kind of learned a few things about you. Apparently, you're a fan of Nando's. Yeah, I went last night. Did you? It was great. What did you order? I got that the half chicken with the fries, but I had to get the peri peri salt on it. And then, it's so good. It's good. It's really. It good. really makes a difference. Um, I was interested in this. You're a big fan of James Arthur. Yeah, huge fan. He obviously, he came from our big show, The X Factor, right. and I'm a big fan of him. So, how did you did you follow the show over here? How did you hear this? Since I was young, I was always like YouTubing stuff, and I remember always YouTubing like American Idol and like X Factor auditions. And I came across like his X Factor audition, and I like fell in love with like what he did and like 
I was following his whole X Factor thing off just off YouTube from from Canada, and he's a huge, huge, and he's honestly one of the biggest inspirations between like him and Ed Sheeran. Massive. Really? Yeah. I mean, he's he's incredible. He's insane. And let's talk about Ed Sheeran. He didn't actually notice you, didn't he, when you started putting up your vines? Yeah. Can I tell me a bit more about that? I went to go and see him at the O2. How was it? He was incredible. I mean, there was thousands of people there. He's literally on the stage with, with his guitar. guitar. And you would never think you'd be able to hold an audience like that. But you he don't. absolutely smashed it. I know, that's that's why he's a big idol of mine, because he just like can hold hundreds of thousands of people in his hand just with a guitar. I mean, like, it's just him on stage. And, and he can make everyone in the stadium quiet, quiet. So it's, it's really, really cool, like the way he is on the stage and stuff. But, uh, yeah, I met I met him in, in, in Los Angeles and it was like one of the coolest experiences ever. Just like meeting your idol and like someone who I really look up to and he was just a like really, really great guy. I don't know, have you ever spoke to yeah. him? He's, mm. he's so down to earth. You're like, dude, you're this massive star. Why are you so normal? Right, exactly. And he's so normal. I know, it's awesome. It's really cool. Try to take me back. My heavy heart just breaks, but it can't lift the weight. I think this is a massive deal that you've made the Times list of the most influential teenagers. It's a massive, massive that's deal. That's huge. Yeah. I mean, that's a, what an absolute honor. Mm -hmm. what, what was your reaction when you found out that you made that list? That was like one of my bigger reactions to something really cool. Like that's what, that meant a lot to me to be be like a massive influence on teenagers in, in a great way. So it was really, really cool. And for you, we've listed a few of them. You're saying Ed Sheeran, James Arthur. But when you were growing up, who kind of really influenced you and kind of made you kind of do what you're doing now? Um, I, honestly, as as it as it is, like I think a lot of it was just my parents, like the way they act, like the way like my dad handled situations. Like I'd always look up to how my mom and dad would would deal with certain things. Like they were so successful, and like whatever they were really passionate about, and, and whatever I was passionate about, they let me follow my dreams in that type of way. You know what I mean? They would never, my dad or my mom would never push me in a certain direction. So they're they're a huge part in like the reason I'm doing well and what I'm doing. No, are you single? Ah, uh, yes, I am. You are. Woo, single, ready to mingle. Yeah. And what do you look for? Really funny girls. Really, yeah. Fu are they I like, really funny. Oh, yeah, dear. I like. I like when girls have a good sense of humor. Or really witty girls or quick girls. Of course, they just if you can make you laugh. Yeah. Just then I'll love you. Some good jokes. Is it true you have five nipples? No, it's definitely not true. <laughs> Why are the vamps spreading these rumours? Brad's hair is actually a wig, so... Is it? No, I actually it thought is. that in the back. It is. Is it? Yeah. So but whenever I wrote into you, I was like, that hair can't be real. It is. You should ask me next time. It is. <laughs>